it can be difficult enough to create something, but when your goal is to transform yourself, it's an even greater challenge. Nazmira Arbi knows exactly what it entails, and now she's helping other women on their path to fitness. Michelle met Nazmira to get the full story. When Nazmira Arbi puts the students in a class through their paces, she combines her extensive knowledge as a fitness coach with her personal experience of all the challenges involved in switching from comfort food to an active, healthy lifestyle. The mind, body and soul are like a musical ensemble. Each must be finely tuned, well-nourished, diligently practiced and lovingly maintained in order to reach full potential. Nazmira Arbi has incorporated these practices into her daily life and it's opened up a whole new world for her. Nazmira was wrapping up the session when Michelle arrived. Hi ladies. Nazmira, hello. Hi, how are you? Michelle? Good, pleased to meet you. How did you get involved in the fitness industry? I was chubby as a young kid and I started training and eating healthy and I liked the way that it made me feel and I wanted other people to have the same benefits as well. What were you like as a kid? I lived in Ladysmith and the only thing I could enjoy was good food and I didn't have a sister to do activities with. But then I moved to Cape Town and then I started training which helped a lot and I developed my strength. You've experienced and overcome many challenges. How has staying fit and keeping healthy helped you? Training helps you grow physically and mentally. It's challenges that you overcome while you're training which makes you realize that Life is the same. Squat brings you down with the heavy weights. You've got to lift it up. You can't just go flat on the ground. You've got to push yourself up. So I take that same philosophy from training and apply it to my life. Also, healthy eating plays a huge part in my life because that enables me to think clearer for my body to function at its best and also to develop muscle. I squat 120. I bench press 100. I did lift my max was 120 as well. After you're in 120 kilos squat and 100 kilos bench press, I'm almost scared to ask, but will you show me a couple of exercises? I will do that. Perfect. Okay, we're starting with the big things. Yes. You need to pull yourself up, bring you down slowly. Let's give it a try. And you're gonna make me do it. Hang down and you're gonna lift yourself up. Bring it down slowly, just hang there and stretch it out and now pull up. Good. Brilliant. Wow. Okay, what next? Okay, we are going to the glutes. Oh good, you got me a chair. <laughs> okay, take a seat. Oh good, I can sit. This exercise works the hamstrings, the quads, and the glutes as well. You're gonna place your legs on the top, just there, a little bit wider. Okay, you're gonna straighten your legs and release at the bottom. You're gonna bring it down, push up, I try not to lock your legs straight, keep moving. Good. Okay, so the more you push your heels into the plate, you're gonna feel it working from your glutes. Okay, lock it in and leave it down, good. Can I take a moment? Yes, sure, water break. At this point, Michelle knew he needed hydration, but Nazmira also focuses on healthy eating. Nutrition is so important. Yes, it's very important. 80% diet and 20% training. I am so happy to be out of the studio. And in here, what do you have? I'm making a pancake consisting of banana and egg whites, barfi whey and oats. Wait, 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 wait. Barfi whey? Yes, barfi whey. What? That is barfi. That's incredible. Okay, so where do we start? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blend all these ingredients. I'm gonna add the banana. And then there's three egg whites. I don't like to use the egg yolk, so I'm gonna just take that out. Two spoons of oats, and then we add in the barfi and the baking powder. Okay, and that's it. We're going to blend it. So as you're blending it, you can get that smell of the barfi way. The beautiful burfi wafting through. Yes. I'm going to pour the mixture into the non-stick pot and then we're just going to wait for it to cook at the bottom and then I'm going to turn it over. The word moderation is bandied about so much. Can you have your cake and eat it too? You have to eat small portions and that's how your, your body is able to digest and move efficiently. 
if you're going to overfeed it, all your blood's going to go to your tummy to try and get all that food absorbed into your body and your whole body just slows down. You are sharing your wisdom with your clients. Can you see the result from when they started to where they are currently now? Oh yes, I see a big difference and it makes me so proud of them. I can see in one week if they're following my plan or not. And then I give them like a two week break and then after that I work harder on them. Well, the moment of truth. Yes. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so you're just gonna cook it a little bit more just till it gets a bit soft and cooked in the center and then I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna show you how to have it. So you have low carb ice cream, you have sugar-free ice cream and sorbets that you can have with the pancake. And then I've got kiwi and raspberry for garnish because I like these fruits, so I'm just gonna place them over it. And here you go, you can give it a try. I pretty much have this for breakfast almost every day. It is so moist and fluffy inside and topped with the ice cream and the fruit. This is truly 100% guilt free. Yes, it is. As a mom to a daughter, what do you hope that she most learns from you? As her role model, I want her to grow up and be a kind, gentle and positive woman. Just as my mother and father have been good role models to me and if it wasn't for their support, I wouldn't be where I am right now and a role model to so many. Nazmira, thank you so much, this has been great. Thank you so much for having me. Having spent the day with Nazmira, the proverbial phrase, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade, comes to mind. She has used her own life story and personal transformation to inspire others to achieve their own goal. Now that is living life to full potential.